right. Hope I hit the mother load just now. What is up, guys? We are out here in beautiful Stewart, Florida today. Of course, me putting behind the camera. We got Silent Frank with us today. Just threw my cast net, hoping to get some fresh live baits, of course. You know how much I love live baits. And we're out here with a bunch of people today. Feels like I got something, but you never know until it comes up. Let's see what we got. We're gonna head offshore and see what we can get into. Mess of fish. Nice. Frank. We got some baits. No big deal. We're gonna get one more throw in and then we gotta head offshore. It's gonna be a gorgeous day out there. All right, let me cinch it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was very close. I almost went in. I don't know if I got that, but Darcy fell off the side of the boat, and uh, we'll see. I stayed in the boat somehow. Stayed in the boat somehow, barely. I have never fallen in the boat yet, off the boat yet, I just came like She fell off and like she battled it. And uh, all right, yeah, so we're gonna try some trolling early today, because it's, it's May and we have to troll. Uh, if we're gonna troll ever at all and catch uh, mahi, it's mahi time, and uh, so we'll see you on the water. We are right under a figure now right now, Now he's gonna go over our baits. See what happens. I'm coming in the spread. Where? I just saw something jump. Nice to and steady, everybody. To the right, right there. Right there again. Right there, fish on. Just okay. like that. We got a fish. Let's go, Tizzle. What, Brian? Will it in? <laughs> we didn't start the video. I got the video on. All right. All right, guys, we got a fish over here. You got, Frank's got it. I'll slow down a little bit. It might be caught on this, it's caught, I think it's caught over here, or we have another fish. Are you caught on this, Frank? Uh, Sizzle. Sizzle? I need to know, it might hang be on, caught on Hang on, hang on. Right. Go, go over. There, another dolphin jumping on the flat. Outrigger, go over me. Some, I'll go under you. Getting a little oh, bit of mayhem right go. now. Yeah, there you go. Jo big dolphin jumping on the outrigger. Big dolphin. Stay I with think that he's frigate. On, I think he's on the planer. Stay with that dolphin. I think I saw a pink thing on him, honey. I think he's on the planer. All right, let's go. Stay with that frigate. Stay with that frigate. And they gotta stay straight. That one jumped back there is yours. I know, I see him. You fell off? Darn. All right, well, we still got a fish over here if someone wants to reel him in. Right, I'm trying. All right, everybody. I just reeled up that way. Take it easy. Reeled my outrigger. The other one fell off? Yeah, there's a fish on that. He's gone. All right, guys, we had a fish on our hothead, uh, Rapala. That thing fell off. I get ready to gaff. I think it's gonna net him. Get gaff him. Gaff him. The gaffer, baby. He's a gaffer? Or whatever you want to do, but. He's not that big, we're just gonna net him. All right, coming to the side of the boat. Yeah, baby. First fish in the day. In the boat. Biggest mahi so far. <laughs> nice job. We right. did it. We did it. All right, where's that frigate? All right, we gotta go find that frigate. What? All right, follow that frigate. All right, y'all. Check it out, beautiful bull mahi in the boat. That's a nice fish. It's a bull mahi, a male because of this broad head here. We're gonna get him right in the cooler. But once again, the peak sea witch does the job. All right, y'all, so we are back to trolling after we had a little mayhem there. We lost the frigate bird and you really gotta keep your eye on a frigate bird because they're usually on decent fish. And that just goes to show you that last fish we caught was totally under a frigate bird, also known as a war bird. They have a 10-foot wingspan. They're an the awesome, awesome bird out here in the deep sea. Uh, but now we are on a rip. We got a bunch of scattered weed, so we're trolling right on the edge of it. Let me just tell you really quick about what we've got going on. In our outrigger clips, we have two skipping ballyhoos on either side, and they're skipping right on the surface, mimicking a flying fish, and fish love it. They tear them up, especially mahi. And then in our tees, which we like to call them on either side, we have a ballyhoo with a chugger head on top, and that is a little further back, uh, just underneath the surface and kind of skipping on, like kind of going up above the surface and then diving back down and creating a nice trail, water trail behind it. That attracts fish. And our bent butt rods on this side, I've got our Rapella x 30. You guys know I love that thing in the hothead color. We just hooked a mahi on it, but lost it earlier. And then on the other side, of course, mahi we just caught, the famous pink, pink sea witch under a bonita strip that we made ourselves which makes it more satisfying and on a planer. So that is down deep in the water, two really deep, two in the tees that are just subsurface, and then two in the outriggers that are on the surface. So we're covering everything and we are going straight. Got a bunch of lines out. We just gotta see what happens. We gotta find another bird. 
almost forgot. Last but not least, we got one in the back of the boat, which is basically the long, long line, way, 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 way back there. And that is a famous billy bait that we love to use, which is a perfect little bait with the mylar on it and everything loves it. Tuna, mahi, all pelagics. Let's go, we, let's do this. All right, we are hooked up once again on the troll. I actually see tuna busting back there, or bonita way back there. That's what we just hooked into. On our long line, the billy bait. Seems like it's a nice fish. But what you do is you keep the boat in gear when you're fighting fish like this because you don't want the hooks to pull out. I'm hoping for a black fin because we're so deep. We're in about 300 feet of water coming up on push button. You gotta yeah. get familiar with that. Yeah, we're actually pretty close. <laughs> Woo! Nice football. So already two different species in the boat just like that. I believe this is a keeper, right? No yeah, I don't think those limits came in effect yet. Yeah. Beautiful fish though, check them out. That Billy Bay crushes fish, everything loves it. One of these days we're gonna get into a big black fin, but I will take fresh sushi any day. All right, so now since we got a very sushi grade fish, we're using my four inch bait breaker knife from Smith's Consumer Products. And you can see I'm just cutting his gills in the well here and he is going to bleed out while he's alive. Quick and easy death. And that is going to make our, our uh, sushi very, very fresh and nice. So there we go, that's it. Just like that, you can even rip the gills too if you don't have a knife. But I like to use a knife, it keeps it simple. All right, y'all, we got a fish on. And Brian's flying the drone at this very moment. So we're gonna try to get this fish in and hopefully not cross a ton of lines while Brian's operating a drone. And I got Frank on the wheel. Frank, slow down a little bit. It's a kingfish. Right through, sir. Okay. I wasn't sure what it was. I thought it was a dolphin, then I thought it was a wahoo, then now it's a nice king. Heck yeah, on the Rapala x wrap Just goes to show you all that this stuff works. All right, let's see what I can do. In the boat he goes! I almost fell, I fell again. Nice! Another king in the boat. We'll take it, another species. That is species number three. All right, once again, guys, just real quick, this um, Rapala x 30 in the hothead color, this is in my Amazon store. I highly recommend you have this in your arsenal, whether it's for inshore fishing or deep sea fishing. This kills it. I have caught the biggest snook. I mean, every, every species that swim eats this, so buy it. All right, Big Frank and Dutch, well, I think that's about it. We've uh, told almost 11. We got a major. Moon phase starting at about 11.50. So we're gonna stop trolling, I pick up the lines and get ready for some bottom fishing and some trips and pilchards over the six mile reef area in Stewart. So uh, let's get to it. You ready, Sizzle? Ready. All right. I'm ready too. I don't care about you, Frank. <laughs> it's flying out. If it's flying out, it's probably a fishy goofball. Why are you gonna bring it like that? Yep. Wow, that was quick. Literally letting out the first bait on the drift. Hooked up. Woo! Hooked up again. Get a fish in here. Yeah, nonstop action today. So, like we said, we're drifting now and we have no current again. And if you watched our other recent video, we had no current too. So, it's just, you know, every day is different out here. And I really thought we'd have a little more current today, but that's okay. Jeez, you're we're gonna, already you catching a fish. fish. Beautiful Bonita. They're so pretty. Gee whiz. Fight so hard. Brian's right, I'm wrong. It was Bonita. <laughs> he was down deep, but Bonitas don't usually do that, but whatever. Another fish in the boat, ate it on the drop. Just goes to show you that the Bonitas are here. They are super thick during our summer months, and I think they're here a little early, but we're gonna be having a lot of these guys chew our baits. Show us how pretty he is. He's a pretty one. Yeah, they're the very one pretty. I caught yesterday was big Look how bit. pretty. Yeah, nice. The greens, the that's where the line actually hit his body, so right. you can see the line. Only hit him on one side. He's really pretty on oh, that, look at that side. side. Gorgeous. Oh, nice. They're so cool. Are you and keep that's them? exactly what our bonita strip is right there. That silver piece of him. Yep. So let's keep them. Let's stock up on our bonita strips. The rest of the bonita today will be let go. Um, and the bigger the way. Ooh, tilted's going crazy. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's getting eight. Something's on it, it's not very big. Hey, 
Half a turn? I don't know what it is. We're gonna find out, but it's not very big. No. Short mutton. Oh my god. Oh! Look at that! The mangrove. <laughs> Sick, y'all. Alright, so with this no current, our flat line just got hit in 80 feet of water by a beautiful mangrove snapper. So that shows you that they're working their way up on the water column. We have no current right now, and they just ate my flat line that was on the surface up here. That is pretty wild. It felt weird. I'm like, it's got to be a trigger fish or a mora, but sure enough, that's a beautiful mangrove. I love my mangroves. All right, man. Let's get lines right back down. We got to get more mangroves. Those Thanks so again, delicious. Dad. Every mangrove that comes in, it's, it's all because of my dad. Tin. It's true. Nice. I Heck also yeah. hooked that bait in the tail, Dar says. Also, it swims down oh, and away smart. from the boat. We have no current. So he probably got a little deeper than some other pilchards. Smart. And, uh, scored a mangrove. Smart, smart, smart. Smart. Oh! Nice. Digging hard right oh. now. <laughs> what happened? Another one of my gloves. It's a nice mutton. Oh! Yeah! That's a nice one. That's a keeper at least. That'll keep. I'll take him. All right, so we're a little deeper from the spot. It seems like the muttons are holding a little deeper, and that's a general rule of thumb. Uh, mutton snappers in general are not really ever on the reef structure. They really mainly are predators, and they hang out around the edge of the structure, and they swim in the sand. That's kind of where they live. That's definitely a 20-incher right there. Solid two and a half, three pound fish. Once again, mustad circle hook in the corner. On my live pilchards I caught this morning. Beautiful fish. We are catching an assortment of fish today. Oh my gosh. Check out this freaking weird thing, y'all. Woo! I can't believe I just caught that. Is that a, is that a red belly rose fish? No. No, no, no. it's not. No. That's a wild looking fish though. Look at that thing. Woo! There's that crazy fish I just pulled up from the deep. I mean, look at those colors. Look at the back and the spots on the back behind the fins. Look at that. It's like to show a predator like that, you know, like, you know, different predators Good instead face. of looking at their face, but he looks like a rock in the front. Pretty wild. I don't know the exact name, but if you guys do, go ahead and comment below, but he is wild looking. I don't even want to touch him. He might be poisonous. So break fight it, let's go. The mahi. I've caught plenty of fish. Perfect. Hurry up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get on him. Nice fish. That's a nice fish. All day nice fish, Frank. Get him. Right, nice and easy, everybody. Get him, Frank. Let's get that, other, get that other top line up. Get my spinner up. Get the, we'll just get the other spinner rod so in case there's another mahi following it and right. I can pitch at it. All right. Frank's got a nice little mahi on here. Are we going to gaff it? What are we going to do? I don't know, Frank. I, I got to gaff it, dude. Is your line up? Yes. All right. We're going to put in gears to land this fish. This is a really nice fish. All right. That's a really nice fish, Brian. Fish, Get the gaff. That's a really nice fish, Brian. I know. So fish on that. Fish on that. Fish on that. All right. Oh, another, another nice one. Another nice one, Brian. He's off. Another huge dolphin. All right. Here, I'll walk back, okay, when he gets close. All day, beautiful fish. Heck yes, that's what we want. Come on fish, come on fish. Get a little closer. Yeah, buddy. Woo! We did it! Heck yes! <laughs> There's a fish on this. I still got him on. Let me go. Go, go, go. Hold on, hold on. Film that fish. I did, I did. I got him on. I got him on. Nice, baby. Nice. All right, stay keep here. it tight. Stay here, stay here. I want you to go 12 o'clock. Where is he? He's close. Stay here, stay here. Right here, big dolphin, right here. Big dolphin. 
right here at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, get the gaff, it's the bull. Whoa, he's running. Woo! Sick, sick. Sick, sick, sick. He's going Sick, y'all. We're getting some big fish. I'm so stoked. Trying to keep my calm. We got a mahi freaking out on the boat. We got a big bull. Big bull. Woo! Sick. 20 pounder all day. Push that fish to the other side. You're getting beat up by him. <laughs> Frank, you're making a big mess. Oh, right, yeah. Sick that I put that second rod out. Yeah, that was awesome. Frank I hooked really... that fish, caught the cow, which is a beautiful fish. That's Frank's personal best, I'm sure. And I got my personal best right here, at least on my boat, sure right now. I just clean. I just turned it back on. All right, keep that tension on so that. So what we did was, as soon as Frank hooked that mahi, I put out a second bait on a flat line out and let it drift back. And sure enough, the bull ate it. The mahi mahi pairs swim together. And they stay with each other their whole entire life. A cow and a bull. And we're gonna do this right. Any little mistake, this fish is gone. He's a big one too, so now he's using his advantage and getting down a little deeper than I like. But he's close. He's still on. That's what matters. Hold on. Whoa, fish. Oh, fish. Sick. Did you guys see that? That was sick. He's too deep. Oh, come on, buddy. Still's on another fish. The major has another 20 minutes. Won't let me go up. home. Hooked Even up. Hooked up. Called monsters. Mind. Today's already epic. Woo! -hoo! All right. Woo hoo! I, back was, of the house. Back of the house. That was one of the best days of fishing on our boat we've ever, ever had. Ever. Ever. This just goes to show you that you know hard work does pay off. And again, like I said, it took years to catch those fish. <laughs> and I did end up weighing that mahi. I don't remember if I said it in the video, but he is 20 pounds. I said he was 30, but yeah. I haven't seen a big fish that big in a while. So <laughs> you either know, way, we are yeah. happy as heck and we're going to be feeding lots of people. Yeah, and we're just about to start filling. This is the next day. And yeah. We're just talking about all filling all Look these fish. That. This is from a week. Loaded in there. Yeah, crazy. Big dolphins are over here laying all vertical. These are our bonitas that are going to be bait. See the black fin. This is the time of year to get out there if you can. And we're gonna be posting a lot of these filet videos on our Facebook page, our Facebook, Facebook page. Yeah, Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Yes, yeah, so if you wanna see some of these fish filet, you're missing out on great content over there because we post a lot of the extras and good stuff for you guys to check out. So make sure you follow us there, Instagram, Twitter, all that good all stuff. All that goes up, TikTok. Yep, don't forget about the awesome necklaces I'm wearing on my website, available for purchase, of course. I have a lot of nautical necklaces, the custom stone crab claw necklaces. So they're all awesome if you wanna support us. Check it out. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Go ahead and comment down below and let us know how much you enjoyed it because <laughs> I sure had a great day. <laughs> and we're looking forward to bringing you much more real soon. So until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching.